When a child with type 1 diabetes experiences a blood glucose over 300, or if they have a high blood glucose for a long time, you might be instructed to check if they have ketones. You might wonder, what are ketones? When the body doesn't have enough insulin, it can't use glucose for energy. When it can't use glucose for energy, it looks for other sources of energy. The body begins to break down fat to use for energy. The byproduct is a kind of acid which we call ketones. Ketones can be used for energy, but they begin to change the chemical balance in the body in a dangerous way. When there is a high amount of ketones and glucose in the blood, people with T1D are at risk for diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA. This can be life-threatening. Children may feel certain symptoms when there are ketones present in their body. These include extreme thirst, frequent urination, stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, heavy breathing. A child might feel any combination of these symptoms or none at all. This is another reason why it's incredibly important to check blood glucose regularly and check for ketones when it is necessary. You should check for ketones if any of the following conditions occur. The child's blood glucose is higher than 300, the child feels nauseated, the child is having abdominal pain during any illness, the child's skin is flushed, the child's breath smells fruity, the child feels confused or foggy, after the child vomits even once, if you find a blockage in your child's insulin pump or the pump fails. To check for ketones, you can use urine ketone strips or blood ketone strips. The ketone test strips you use will have exact instructions on the bottle. Urine ketone strips are dipped into the child's urine for a short time. The strip will then change color to indicate the level of ketones in the body. You can compare this color against the color guide on the bottle to let you know if there are ketones in the urine and if so, how severe they might be. To use a blood ketone test strip, you will need a compatible meter. Putting a drop of blood on the test strip will cause the meter to give the ketone results after a short period. You will need to act according to the result of the ketone test. If the result is negative, no further action is needed except for potentially correcting the high blood glucose. If the result is trace or small, you should have the child drink extra water in addition to potentially correcting the blood glucose. If the result is moderate to large, call the diabetes care team for assistance. They will help you dose an appropriate amount of insulin for the child to treat the ketones. If the result is moderate to large and the blood glucose is less than 150, you may need to give the child fluids with sugar so additional insulin can be given safely. The diabetes care team can assist with this over the phone. If the child has ketones with either difficulty breathing or vomiting, you should take them directly to the ER. You can call the diabetes care team for assistance if you have any questions. Ketones can be quite serious, but they are easy to treat if they are caught quickly. It's best to check a child's blood glucose regularly because it may be important to follow up and check for ketones without much warning. In the next module, we'll do a deep dive on checking blood glucose and using multiple kinds of devices for checking.